I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to find sides of a triangle when area and hypotenuse is given to us. The equation is, determine the unknown sides of the right triangle ABC whose hypotenuse is 10 centimeters and area is 25 centimeters square. So let me sketch one right triangle here and then we'll try to solve it. So let us say we have a triangle ABC whose hypotenuse is 10 centimeters, right? We need to find the length of these sides. Now, let us call these lengths as X and Y. Okay, so let's say we'll call this as X and this as Y. Now, since it is a right triangle, we know that y square plus x square equals to 10 square, which is 100. We could write one variable in terms of another. So from this equation, we, we could write x square equals to 100 minus y square. We are given the area as 25 centimeters square and uh, as you know area is half of base times height. In the given scenario base is x for us and height is y. Area is 25, right? So we could cross multiply and say 50 is x times y. So we know that uh, x and y are also related as uh, 50 equals to x times y. From here we can say 50 divided by y is equals to x. Right? So we have a relation which gives you x in terms of y. We could substitute this value here and then we'll have only one variable, right? So, so these are the two equations we can work with. Let me call this as equation one and two. So, so let us substitute two in equation one. So we get 50 over y whole square equals to 100 minus y square. So that is what we get now. At least we have a, an equation in one variable. It should not be difficult to solve this one. We can cross multiply and get one equation. So 50 square, let me write this as uh, 50 square equals to y square times 100 minus y square. Perfect. So we'll begin with this on the right side. So we have 50 square, which is 2500 equals to y square times 100 minus y square. So, so that is 2500 equals to 100 y square minus y to the power of 4. We can bring all these terms to one side. So we get y to the power of 4 minus 100 y square uh, plus 2500 equals to 0. Now, you could treat this as a quadratic equation with y square. And we can now apply quadratic formula to solve this equation. Or uh, uh, 50... You could also use uh, factored form, product of two numbers being 50 times 50, that gives you 100, right? So we could also write this as y squared minus, because 50 minus gives you that whole 2ab, do you see that? If you write this as minus of uh, 50 whole square equals to zero you get you get an idea right so actually i split this into that form otherwise it was very 
obvious. Let me show you here. So basically, we could have written this as 0 equals to uh, y to the power of, let it be minus, doesn't matter. And then we have a term which is plus 100y square and minus 50 square, correct? The center term is twice ab. Do you see that? And so it is a perfect square. So that becomes your equation. And this equation has two solutions, what, which is y square is equal to 50. And that gives you that y equals to square root of 50, right? Since it is a side of a right triangle, we'll always take positive. And that gives you y equals to, you could write this as 25 times 2. So you could write this as 5 square root 2. Does it make sense to you? So we get the value of y as 5 square root 2. Now we can find what x is uh, from any one of our equations. So we'll use this equation. Let us say that this is equation number 3 for us. Okay, so let's substitute 3 in 2. Then what we get? So we get x equals to 50 divided by, instead of y, I'm writing y square root 2, right? y square root 2. So that gives us 10 over square root 2. All the units are in centimeters. So that is our answer. So our answer is uh, the two sides are 5 square root 2 and 10 square root 2. At times, it is good practice to write, rationalize it. So you could write this as 5 square root 2. So if I multiply both sides by square root 2, that is rationalized. Is that okay? So square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So get 5 square root 2 as your answer. So, so actually it's an isosceles triangle in our case. So we get 5 square root 2 centimeters. And let me write now 5 square root 2 centimeters, right? So both sides are same in this particular case. Well, we were lucky that we could factor it like this. If not, you could have used quadratic formula, right? So I took values which were easy to calculate. I could have taken some of the value for area instead of 25. If I take 24, then you will end up with fractions. Use quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. I hope that makes sense, correct? But the method is absolutely clear. Start with two relations, yet there are two variables. One is the given area, the other one is Pythagorean theorem. Perfect. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.